Word. I don't know why you guys um show so much hatred for my previous MVC3 video. It's probably that blurb I had um in the beginning of the video where I said Maximilian dude put out the 5K uh, challenge for modders to basically expand the capabilities of the game. I don't know if that's incorrect information. I don't care. I just know you guys hated that previous video. I apologize in advance. If it wasn't that blurb about Maximilian dude, it, it had to be the mic blowout. Maybe I was blowing into the mic too much. I was listening to that video and it was, it was bothering me a little bit too. But here's an update for MVC3. Um, for the record, I'm not a fan of MVC3. I just don't like how Fisher Price the button setup is. The, For instance, um, on the controller, the same button does a pop-up for every character. I hate that with a passion. In MVC2, the characters are mixed up. For instance, with some characters, you have to hold down Fierce. Some characters, you have to hold Fierce Kick, etc., etc. The only upside to MVC3, in my opinion, is probably the modeling. It has, it has some really stellar modeling but uh, i'm gonna just focus up here let's just move forward this is my mbc3 is super modded everything's completely overhauled the new changes that i've, pre I've recently made as you can see here's the ui the uis were completely overhauled just new up-to-date um ui that features or showcases all of the modded characters that i have added in here i'm gonna jump into offline Screw it. Let's go to. I think arcade and training are the same. They they have the same um CSS screen. So there you go. My character select screen has been somewhat overhauled too. I changed the music. I changed the background, and I changed pretty much the layout for the uh, the characters as you select them. I still have secret characters as you can see here. Plethora of different secret characters. One by Cali King. Um, another one called Palette Swap Characters. There's a lot going on here. Um, aside from that, I have a ton of skins that I've added in here. Um, screw it, I can go through it now. Just back out. So the UI overhaul, some music replacements. There's a ton more skins and stuff I've added in here. Guess it wouldn't hurt to go through them. I'm going to have to be really fast here. This roster is pretty big. Got a green screen for the background now for the uh, character bio screens. So I'm just going to quickly go through the characters, just let you see all these crazy costumes that have been modded in here. Some are default game costumes, not many, but um, yeah, I'll just toggle through the characters quickly. There's Morgan. Pretty crazy skins, man. I think the most impressive skins I've seen in this game are the skins where they completely replace the models. Like, there's a point in here where you just blatantly have Killmonger. There he goes. God, this skin is cool. Looks just like Killmonger from Black Panther. Yeah, but those are the most impressive to me. When I, get, I have no clue what his default skin is supposed to be here. Let's back out. Find a character I know. Okay. Next is Dante. Again, I'm just going to quickly go through. I saw NBC4 in there. Looks like Nero is a selectable character. He's got like 20 skins now. <laughs> Sorry for the brevity, but I, I kind of have to like brute force speed through this. I think that's actually skin one. Yeah, that was skin one. Felicia. Again, I'm going to go pretty fast here. That looked like Monat as a selectable character. That was pretty cool. She's got 20 plus skins. Jeez. So many skins. Next up is Chun Li. As you see, I moved the stockings off or took her stockings off of her model. I don't like the way the stockings looked on her default skin. Looked like Tifa 2B. Chun Li's got some crazy skins. The upside to MVC3 is the 3D modeling. I actually like the 3D modeling. The downside is the gameplay. I hate the gameplay. It's just too. Every character is the same. It's, it's really not fun to have every character the same. Also, it's not a six button set, i.e. R and L1 aren't fierce attacks anymore. Instead, you have, it's more like four buttons to do two to do separate attacks. And I hate that. Trish has got some crazy skins too. Yeah, there ain't much to say. Dang, I skipped the default skin again. 
I'm going to try to jump back here. I should know Trisha's default scan. I don't know why I skipped over it. Alright, next up, Armor Tawasu. Should have some crazy stuff. That's crazy. It's got a shark. That looked like the um the the Robo Doggo from Metal Gear Revengeance. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> that was actually kind of a cool scan. Again, I love the modeling, man. This is beautiful, Joe. I love the modeling for these characters. Rayman, that's nuts. I just don't like the gameplay. I wish there was a mod to completely overhaul and change the gameplay that's so that every character has different launching mechanics. But they don't. Everyone has the same pop-up button, and it sucks. This game is not fun to play. Only because the buttons are the same for every character. I don't know why they tried to Fisher Price and dump down Marvel vs. Capcom the way they did. But now there's no skill cap. If you wonder what's outstanding with Tron Bond, she's not wearing um, the pantyhose that she wears with her original outfit. As you can see there, she's stripped now. Again, I'm going to go pretty quick here. I don't want to dwell on this too long or make the video like an hour long when it doesn't have to be. I'm going to try my best to stop on the default costume before I move on to the next character. Okay, Arthur. Oh, it's a fall guy. It's <laughs> pretty funny. These skins are kind of crazy. Dang, man. 20 skins. God. Spencer. Dr. Von, whatever his name is. It's pretty crazy. Freaking Gundam. Alright, Spencer's got some, some stuff. That's like Captain Commando. Spencer's got some nutty stuff. I think this is his default. Oh, that wasn't his default. What's his default? This? Yeah, that was his default. Next is Zero. That looked like Dante Devil Trigger, Monster Hunter. That looked like Virgil Devil Trigger. A Mega Man Zero. This is a custom um, palette swap character. That's crazy. Zero's got some stuff, man. Keep in mind, I just plopped these new skins on top of them. Dang, that looks like EXE Zero. Or whatever it's called. That spin-off version of Zero. Right, let's move on. See Viper. No clue what she has. That's pretty cool. That's a Marvel character. That looks like, um... Bayonetta. That's pretty cool. I'd likely just be picking Bayonetta though. I'm going to speed up here. Alright, next is Hacker. Oh, that's cool. That's Metal Gear. Dragon Ball. Marvel. Mecha Zangief. Oh, he's got some crazy stuff, man. Look at all these skins. Jeez. You can definitely make a team in this now. Akuma. That's like a Dragon Ball Akuma I just saw. Cyber Akuma. Okay. Am I back at the default? What's the default for this? I have no clue. It's got to be this. Alright, next up. Hosinkyo. Or Hosinkyo. However you pronounce her name. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hassani Miku. I'm not familiar with Hassani Miku. Miku, but I keep seeing her everywhere. Okay, she only had really one model swap. So this looks like Jill, Battle Suit Jill. That looks like Domino. Quiet from Metal Gear. An actual Black Widow, which explains the theme song. Dang, she got some crazy stuff. This looks like a, a palette swap character. That means this Jill is completely different. Um, plays. She plays completely different from Battlesuit Jill. You can tell if a character is a palette swap or a new character with a new moveset because they'll have a different stance. Like, um, you know, the few characters we've seen so far. She's got some good skins. She's got some full out models. Virgil. Okay. They're like Baron Zemo. That's Chris. Yo, you guys probably aren't familiar with Chris. He's obscure. 
freaking Nightcrawler. That's crazy. Some of these kids are really good. God, I wish this gameplay was better, man. I hate that, man. Why they put the pop up on the same button? You ruined NBC three. No, let me stop. <laughs> Phoenix, right? That was like something from Persona. Looked like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh wow! Whoa! Oh man, he's got some good textures. Oh, that's the Simpsons, dude. Okay. All right, I see you, Phoenix. What's his default? This got to be the default. All right, next up is Strider. Strider is completely replaced with a um a more modern version of Strider. This is like a, a a later release of Strider after the classic. I love the way this looks. It's this is so superior. Looks like Dragon Ball, Naruto, freaking Street Fighter. He's got some dope skins. Damn, this is crazy, dude. They look like Karai from Ninja Turtles. Correct me if I'm wrong. Likely not. This is nuts, man. And then all his basic default suits. That's nuts. Strider just got some cool skins. This is Red Devil or Firebrand. He's from Ghouls and Goblins. Oh, he had Ridley. That looks like Morbius from Marvel. Okay, he's got some full out model swaps on his character. That's pretty dope. That looks like a Ninja Turtle. Okay. I see you, Firebrand. That's unique. No gargoyle skin, huh? All right, Frank West. Wow. No clue. That's cool, though. Oh, man. Postal. I don't remember putting any of these skins on the characters. I'm glad they're here, though. It's funny. Okay, so yeah, and these look like palettes for the rest. I have no idea what this dude's default. So it's a black for the default. Let's do this again. Find the black code again. Okay. Nemesis. As promised in the previous video, I went and found Pyramid Head. Dropped him over Nemesis. Freaking Michael Myers. Oh, that's nuts. Oh, that's so creepy. I love these models, man. Somebody, please, tweak the gameplay to not suck. Why did they do that? Very back up the pop-ups. That's what made NBC 2 good. Wolverine. I gotta research NBCI. That looks like his retro costume. See if NBCI mixes up the, the launchers for all of the characters. That's dope. That's like Old Man Logan. That's crazy. Days of Future Past. Gotta be. Weapon X Wolverine. He's got some good skins, man. Yeah, those color schemes are pretty good. This looks like a bunch of palette swaps. Alright, Wolverine. I see you. The Hulk. Maestro. I think that's Maestro. That looks like a suit from Street Fighter V. Looks like Plushy Blanca. This looks like Joker from DC when he turns into a Titan. The freaking Juggernaut. I can I can tell you this has a different move set. I think it does. It should, even though the stance, the idle stance, is it different? This looks like a bunch of palette swaps for Hope. His alt. I love his alt. Look like Mister Fixit. All right. Freaking Iron Man. This is a complete rework of his default color scheme. So much better. This looks like the movie to me. Freaking War Machine. This looks like something from Monster Hunter. Just some color scheme. That's retro Iron Man. You can tell by his his, uh, his helmet. Yeah, this is retro Iron Man from NBC2. Iron Patriot. A spinoff of Iron Patriot. That's not what he looked like in MCU pretty good yeah he's got some good color swaps mainly I noticed his mask his mask is changing drastically for his color swaps Iron Man's got some good stuff oh that one's good uh, it's pretty awesome freaking Captain America 
he should have model yeah he's got blatant model swaps this is actually from the comics this is an alternate version of him majority of his skins are alternate versions freaking gal it's pretty awesome that's definitely from the comics that's like agent that's the agent um version of him this looks like the joker wow he's got some crazy stuff man Captain America's got some A some A plus model swaps on his character. Some of his skin palettes are pretty good too. All right, next Deadpool. This is his default skin. I reworked it and just you know just turned it into movie Deadpool. Everyone knows the movie Deadpool, so it looks better too. Here's some all skins. That's like some of Dragon Ball. Gwenpool. That's kind of funny. Gay but funny. Shaggy. Pirate Deadpool. Um, cable pool. I forget where this is from. Bunch of skin swaps. Dang, it's almost impossible to not make a matching team in this, huh? Pepsi man, that's crazy. Alright, what's next? Doom. Doom looks default. Freaking Fogo. Space Jam. Look like a LeBron James Doom. That like retro Doom. Sale from DBZ, a freaking Gundam. Yeah, Doom's got some crazy stuff. He's got some model swaps. That was a pretty good green skin. Ooh, that was that was dope. That was God Doom. That white Doom. It's from the comics. Looked like Super Scroll. Oh, that's that's dope. Turns into um Blue Marvel. I forget his name, Mr. Slim or something like that. Slender Man what it was called he's got some pretty good skins fantastic four on a super scroll that's nuts looks like a mask he was wearing that's pretty crazy man some of these skins are nuts wow that was good next up is Thor wow a little bit of Fortnite influence there huh anywho Oh wow, that's cool. Oh wow. This is definitely a palette swap character. Meaning he has a different moveset. He's like completely overhauled. He's a completely new um, character in the character select. When you select the skin specifically. That's kind of cool though. This is Retro Thor, without a doubt. Pretty cool. And it's like a bunch of new palettes. So many palettes, man. It's almost impossible to not make a team in this game. Freaking She-Hulk. Looks like her default costume has been replaced with something more modern. That's awesome. That looks like uh, King of Fighters. Dang. Red She-Hulk. That's nuts. She had a retro costume and stuff in there. Wow. The color changes are nuts for her. Not bad. Yeah, she's got some good skins. All right, next up, Spider-Man. That looks like MCU Spider-Man for the default. It looks all right. It's accurate to the movie. Miles Morales. That looks like PS4 Spider-Man. This is um Superior Spider-Man. Basically, Doctor Doc Octo Doctor Octavius in the Spider-Man suit. I don't know why I almost said Doctor Octopus. This looks like Into the Spider-Verse. This is my favorite costume. This is my favorite version of Spider-Man to date. Outside of um, Spider-Gwen. Scarlet Spider. That looks like Into the Spider-Verse. Punk Spider-Man. I forget his name. Might be just Punk Spider-Man. There's a bunch of skin swaps. Or rather palette swaps. Oh wow. That's cool. Straight out of the comics. Alright. X-23. Whoa, that was Harley Quinn. Black, uh, Black Cat. There's Spider-Gwen. This is my favorite Spider-Man design. I love it. Color scheme, what she's wearing, everything is cool. Okay, X-23, I see you. I don't know what. What? <laughs> well, she's got model swaps. Pretty cool. she got a good selection of colors, too. Okay. Alright, Modoc. 
what could he possibly have? That's pretty cool. Sigma from Mega Man X. It's pretty good. Good um, model swap. I like model swaps more than palette swaps. All right, not bad. He's got he's got some stuff going on here. It's not great. All right, that's got to be the default. All right, next up is Phoenix. Let's see what she has. Whoa, that's cool. Whoa, that's the Goblin Queen. Marvel Girl. She's got some crazy skins. Whoa, that's from the Fantastic Four. I think it is Miss Invisible, or is it Invisible Woman? I think it's Invisible Woman. Scarlet Witch. Old school Jean Grey. She's got some stuff, man. Okay, I see you. I see you, Phoenix. Freaking Raven. Casual Raven. Okay. She working with some stuff here, ain't she? Alright, Phoenix. The most hated character in the game. Alright, next up is Magneto. Look like his default's been overhauled. His face has been blackened. I guess it's the pay homage either to certain points in the comic that are dramatic or probably the X-Men Evolution, which is a cartoon. That's Dio from JoJo. These look like alternate. That's freaking Darth Vader. Yeah, this is definitely from like Marvel Now or something. It's just alternate version of Magneto. There should be plenty of those in here. Look like some color swaps. King Magneto. I like that. I like the color variation. Even put him in a snow coat. That was pretty good. Storm, fine. I mean, Storm. There's a default. That looks like Mighty Thor or Lady Thor, whichever one you prefer. Some people even call it Jane Foster. Look like an alternate Storm in a, a, a costume, a different costume. This looks like a restored skin from original NBC3. This is not default. I can tell by our lips. Okay, look like some skin work. Punk. I think Punk Storm is a joke character from the comics. Retro Storm. For for those of us who um prefer NBC two over three, me. There's a, a costume for. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. Um, pretty accurate replica of NBC two Storm or Retro Storm. Not bad. Not bad. All right, next, Dormammu. He's got to have model swaps. That's cool. He's got like a pumpkin head. Whoa, Clay. Look how she's standing. If a character stands differently, they have a different move set. So this is a palette swap character. This is Clay over MVC3 Dormammu. Looks like she's got two skins. That's cool. That's got to be the alt. Whoa, that's freaking Mephisto from Marvel. Whoa, that's nuts. Looks like we got we have some stuff going on with him, man. He's got some good palette swaps going for him. It's pretty dope. This is, has to be his default. Has to be. All right, moving on. This looks like a Taskmaster. He's got to have an MCU skin in there, dude. He doesn't. This sucks. I don't know what that's from. Like a mech cast. There he goes. MCU Taskmaster. That is so cool. Even though I hated the Black Widow movie. That looks like Skeletor from um, He-Man. This is his alt skin. Looks like a mix-up of his alt. Looks pretty crazy. Bunch of palette swaps. It's pretty nuts, man. He's got some good skins, man. Some good model swaps, too. That's got to be his default. Alright, let's move on. Next up is Sentinel. Why? Why? Why does this exist? You know what? No, there's somebody out there who likes this. Whatever. Alright, so he's got a lot of color swaps. Retro Signal. This looks. This is the best sig Sentinel in my opinion. Retro Sentinel. I love it. I like the face on that model. Alright, Sentinel's got some good colors. But I don't know about that um, maid dress. But yes, this has to be his default. I think. Well, let me keep going. Yeah, that was his default. Dang it. All right, let me uh, brute force go ahead here. Try to get back to his default. All right. Shumagorath or Shumagorath. I hope you pronounce it. Shumagorath. Freaking Kirby. That's adorable. I'd, I'd actually pick this now. <laughs> 
That's cool. That's got to be like a Halloween skin or something. That pumpkin. Jack-o'-lantern, I meant to say. That's his all. His all is gross. Alright, that's Shuma. Shuma looks like just a bunch of different color, color swaps here. That's cool. That's cool, too. Alright, this got to be default. I'm going to move on. Looks like Nova. Nova just blatantly has um, Captain Falcon from Smash. Which I got to admit, this looks good. He looks awesome right there. Okay. That looks like something. That might be a Captain Marvel. A powered up Captain Marvel spinoff. That looks like Retro Nova. Retro Nova looks cool to me. Looks like a bunch of palette swaps. Okay. Alright, next up is Ghost Rider. Here's his default skin. Let's just move on. That's insanely cool. Cowboy Ghost Rider. Fantastic Four Ghost Rider. Freaking Sweet Tooth. He's from, um... What is it called? What is it called? I forget the name of the game. Twisted Metal. And then it looks like it just one. That's even... That might be Scorpion, actually. This here. Looks like just a bunch of spinoffs. This is alt costume. The alt costume looks cool. That's crazy. Look at the fire. He's got some good skins, man. Ghost Rider has some pretty impressive stuff, man. Dang, blue fire. Oh, that's nuts. But in fact, the hottest, um, the hottest fire is blue. Wow, Daredevil Ghost Rider. That's kind of nostalgic too. Mind you of um Willis Past. That looks like Space Ghost Rider. Wow, he's got some good skins. Alright, Iron Fist. Black Panther, 10 out of 10. Best one. Rest in peace, Chad with Bozeman. This looks like um uh Shang-Chi. Yeah, I think this is Shang-Chi. It's just the comic version of Shang-Chi, not the MCU. Skullamania from Street Fighter. Retro Iron Fist. I don't. I don't even want to know. I forget his name. He had like some weird um, black exploitation name. I just don't remember it. That's funny though. Daredevil. So Iron Fist has some stuff, man. He's got like some blatant good model swaps. That looks cool. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, good job. Doctor Strange, this is a default costume. It's obviously recolored. It looks more modern. It's a more modern version of Strange. He looks cool with a beard. Wow. I don't know what this is supposed to be. This looks awesome, though. This looks like um the King of the Symbiotes or something like that. Definitely something from the Symbiote Saga in the Marvel Comics. Where um Noel came to Earth. This is Dr. Voodoo. He looks like Spawn to me. It's pretty crazy. That's definitely a move swap um, skin I just showed. It's got some crazy stuff, man. These are some good skins, too. I like the hair color change. It's pretty nuts. Make him older. You can actually take his cape off. Wow, he's got some impressive stuff. Alright, freaking Hawkeye. I don't know why they put Cloud over him. Cloud doesn't even use a bow and arrow at all. This is Hawk Guy. This looks like just some skin spinoffs. This is Ultimate Hawk Guy. This might be from MVCI. Don't hold me to it, but I think that's what it's from. Another Ultimate or a spinoff version of Hawk Guy. This looks like Ronin. Ronin's from the comics, and there's Ronin in the MCU, but in the MCU, he doesn't look like the comics exactly. Looks like it's just a bunch of um, palette swaps for the guy. Wow, he's got a lot of model swaps. Surprisingly enough, they did a pretty good job with him. Alright, next. Rocket Raccoon. Hmm. That's his default. That's the MCU. Looks like more default palette swaps. Freaking Bomberman. That looks so silly. Bomberman with the pistol. Looks like we passed his alt up there. Not bad, not bad. He's got some good stuff. 
Yeah, he's pretty good. It's good money. It's good money. Different color raccoon. All right, next. Galactus. This is the boss. I didn't touch Galactus. Even though he's playable in my game. And the one you select has many alternate costumes to choose from. But this is um in the gallery. And I think in the gallery. Yeah, in the gallery you only get this. To view. All right, that's all of my character skins. I went as fast as I possibly could. Sorry if I went too fast. This is an updated or an update video for my MVC3 character gallery and roster. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, well, I don't care. God bless.